Good morning, and welcome to HMS Morning Announcements. I'm Matthew Bird. Today we'll find out about the Pottermore Club, and here are some answers to our questions of the day. Before that, let's go to our morning announcements read by our principal, Mr. Keller. Thanks, Matt. Today is a day four. Softball tryouts will take place today at the high school field house right after school. Bring bats and helmets if you have them. No cleats are allowed to be worn in the field house. Student council will meet today briefly after school. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock, there's a special meeting for grade 8 members only. The Project Bread Walk for Hunger is on Sunday, May 5th this year. If you're interested in participating, please see Mrs. Noble. The HPTA will be selling raffle tickets tomorrow and Wednesday during lunch. You can buy a ticket or two to enter one of the many drawings with prizes that includes an iPad, Kindle Fire, a 3DS, and a karaoke machine with iPod Nano and lots, lots more. Back to you, Matt. Our next segment takes us into the world of J.K. Rowling as we visit the Explore Pottermore Club. What do you do here? Well, we look online and we watch Harry Potter videos. We talk to Miss Husis about Harry Potter. We <laughs> read the books and we have fun as a Harry Potter nerd group. Do you argue over whether the books or the movies are better? Well, the books are obviously better because more details and stuff, but we don't argue about that. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for the future? Get more members and expand our club. <laughs> so how long has this club been around? This is our second year. What is your favorite book and why is this so? The seventh book because it has all the best details and the best fights and it's really cool. It's kind of a tie between the first and the seventh, but I'm going to go with the first because everyone else is the seventh already because it's the <laughs> intro to the series and I think it's very detailed. Now, Ms. Hustis, how did you get involved and why? Well, I'm a huge Harry Potter series fan. I've been reading the books ever since they came out. And uh, last year when I heard uh, J.K. Rowling was uh, starting the Pottermore site, I thought it would be fun to get some Harry Potter fans together to look at it. What wound up happening is they kind of delayed the opening of um, the site. So we just kind of got together every week hoping that it was going to start up. And uh, in the meantime, we had our first Yule Ball, we made wands, we played Quidditch, and then eventually last spring, um, the site finally was open to everybody so everybody could get an account. And so we just kind of started meeting on a regular basis. And what is your favorite book and why? Oh gosh, I don't know, my favorite. Um, I would say probably the last one's my favorite, but I've got a sweet spot for um, Prisoner of Azkaban too because I kind of like the part where Harry is on his own in Diagon Alley and just kind of discovering you know, more about the wizarding world. There you have it, <laughs> the, the Explore Pottermore Club. Come here every Wednesday to have a lot of fun exploring Pottermore. And now, we bring you our regular segment, Question of the Day. My favorite school memory is one time someone punted a soccer ball and it hit me in the face. When I got cookies at school and they tasted amazing. In science class, we got to do a lot of different lab experiments. We're excited for Washington, D.C. And that will be a new old memory. When I just did the home shake for HCAM. When my dog died and everyone in school helped me. Homeroom challenge and being with my friends and competing against them. The teachers who helped me study hard in school, and that's very good. Field day in sixth grade. The Kenyan runners came in our school at Elmwood. When I recorded this. Doing some skits in Mr. Rockwood's class in sixth grade. Nature's classroom. A lot of the dances, because those are fun. When I made my first program in Scratch. We did a skit called Nate's Nonsense Talk Show. All the dances. Elder T. My first day in elementary school or my first day in middle school? The last minute of the last day of school. Preparing for the lip dub. We actually had more responses than we could fit in today's announcements. So to see a video with all the answers, visit hcam.tv slash hmstv. Lastly, we have a message from the school council regarding the pennies for pasta fundraiser. Today is our first day of lunch collecting. We're only doing it for two weeks, so I hope everyone brings in some. Did you know, a few years ago, HMS was the second best fundraising school? If we do that well again, the entire school wins a pasta party. This year will be fun because the grades are competing against each other, so I think people will definitely bring in their spare change. Every grade will want a chance to win a party for their home row. Hey, can we put a stuff here? You know, to save our spot. What? We're here for the pasta eating contest. We want to be first in line because the eighth grade's totally going to win. Um, this is a penny collecting contest. People bring in their spare change. What? But we haven't eaten in three days.
The seventh graders are here with our pasta boxes. I hope we win. I really want that Olive Garden lunch in my homeroom. I'm sorry, this is Penny's for pasta, not pasta. Haha! <laughs> Wait, that's not a joke. Are you selling pasta now? The sixth graders are here with our pennies. We're collecting during homeroom and lunch, but I guess we can take it now. What? Aren't you selling pasta for pennies? No, guys. We're collecting pennies, not selling pasta. Hey, what time does the party start? It's not a party. We're collecting spare change to support the Lymphoma and Leukemia Society. During lunches and homeroom, we're collecting by grade. Can I eat now? What, three days, remember? You really didn't eat for three days? I was getting into character. And that wraps up morning announcements for today. Until next time.